show you how I make my banana conditioning hair mask and um, first I'll take the time to go over the ingredients and all the benefits of each one um, I'm gonna be using plain yogurt and plain yogurt is uh, good for fighting frizz it's a light protein and it basically promotes stronger hair um, also gonna be using a banana and um, banana of course has potassium and potassium has been known to soften the hair it also contains vitamin A, B, C and E and it also has the natural oils um, it protects the hair's elasticity and it prevents split ends so the banana sounds pretty good to me um, the grapeseed oil what I'm using it's high in antioxidants it also has vitamin E, C, D and beta keratin. Um, it also has the uh, linoleic acid, which is basically unsaturated omega 6 fatty acids, and um, that's good for combating dry hair. So, basically, this conditioner put together is going to promote stronger, um, softer hair. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to put in will be the yogurt and what I'm gonna do is get one uh, excuse me half a cup and pour in half a cup of the yogurt the plain yogurt of course you can get that from a grocery store nothing special there okay and then next I'm gonna take the banana right here and go ahead and peel it yep and um... then you're going to break it in half and put that in there okay now I'm going to take a teaspoon of the grapeseed oil and you can find the grapeseed oil and your local grocery store. I got mine from Target. Got a pretty decent deal on it, I guess. It was about, I think, six dollars and some cents. Um, you can also buy it online. I've seen it on Amazon.com. I've also seen it on, um, I think it's VitaCost.com. May be able to find a better deal there. But basically, I'm going to take two teaspoons of the grapeseed oil and put it in. Now there's a variation to this um, hair mask. If you'd like you can add eggs. However, since yogurt is already a light protein and eggs are high in protein, if you're like me and your hair is protein sensitive, you may want to stick with just the yogurt or maybe just the egg and not the yogurt and maybe mayonnaise so you can just kind of do your own variation to this recipe um, and then I'm going to take honey and of course honey promotes um, moisturizing of the hair and um, smoother hair okay and I'm going to put two teaspoons of the honey in okay And of course, with this recipe, if you're going to try it, you can play with it to see what works with your hair. Of course, this one, you know, is what works with my hair. So this is what I'm going with. And I have a little hand blender that I'm going to use um, to blend it. Okay. So you're basically going to mix it.
think I have it to the consistency that I want it. It doesn't take much, actually. It blends pretty good. Okay. Got the blender. Now, let's see if I can hold it up to the camera so you can see kind of what it looks like. If you can see it. Um, it's kind of like a creamy-ish, you know. Let's decent okay so afterwards after you go ahead and um, blend it up what you're going to do is after you wash or co-wash however you doing your hair you're just going to apply this on just like you would with a regular conditioner and then rinse out with warm water so I'm going to go ahead and put it on my hair and then what I'll do is um, post pictures of what my hair looks like afterwards and if you can see my hair now and please don't talk about the way I look because I don't look good at all my hair is pretty wild right now it's kind of um dry in texture I had the curls in my hair so basically um what I'll do is come back and let you guys know how it turned out so talk to you later